Paris Fashion Week, a mecca for star watchers, trend surfers and the high priests of design. I've come to the Ritz in Paris to meet up with the fashion director of Japanese Vogue, Anna de la Russo, a modern day style icon and self-confessed fashion addict who has over 4,000 pairs of shoes to prove it. Hello. Hello, Hello. how are you? Very well, good to see you. The Japanese edition has a reputation for being the most cutting edge of the Vogues, and this Italian lady has become its resident star. In a world where fashionistas are supposed to be cold and detached, Anna has put the fun back into dressing up. This is some wardrobe. This is a dreaming. This is world. almost like a shrine. What have you done? I threw the clothes. I always skip the reality, and I go in the other fantasy world where it's much better to live. We're going to go to the Paris fashion shows and everybody's going to be wearing black. Yes, but this Why? is because they are depressed to me, because they're not uh, very well. <laughs> I don't like black when it's uh, really conformist, bourgeois, real, you know what I mean? When it's yeah. they wear like a black coat. Why uh, people have to look at me if I'm wearing black coat, you know? So how then, do you think people look at you? Because you turn up and you're sparkly, and you're shiny, and you're bright. Because I'm totally crazy. I mean, I'm <laughs> totally fashion victim. Then I carry the risk to have people look at me, you know. I was thinking, I love the clothes. Why do I have to feel uh, embarrassed? Because I want to share that passion with people. <laughs> about the designers? Who are your iconic designers? If you only could ever wear one outfit for the rest of your life, oh, who would Dolce you go Gabbana. to? Yeah. Oh, Dolce because, Gabbana. Yeah, Dolce Gabbana because, I mean, it's Italian and then, and then I like so much the aesthetic, all the new, they, they make it. The, that's so they're perfect for you. Yeah. They, they're your iconic designer. Design, yeah, let's say the iconic designer, yes. Oh, and for example, another iconic, another iconic uh, for me, uh, person now is Lady Gaga. Because Lady Gaga is in the music now, is the first, no, it's the first, is the new approach like music and fashion together. Because she's amazing how she play with fashion. And Lady Gaga understood really well the power of the communication of clothes. Do you stay in one outfit for the day or no, do you? Three a day. Really? Uh, yeah. Every day? Yeah. Why? Because uh, uh, one in the morning, one in the afternoon, and one in the night. <laughs> like uh, Just because tea time. you can? Yeah, because I love it. Anna has two apartments in Milan. One is for her, the other is for the thousands of outfits she owns. If there's one photo out there though that represented you, what outfit would you like to be seen in? Which is the outfit that you think, this sums me up, this is, this is who I to am? To me what represents me very well is the chariot. I can show you. Show me, show me this hat. This is my spirit, like a south of Italy, uh, energy, color, uh, smile, happiness, uh, that is about it. 25,000 people visit her blog every day to see the latest outfit she's wearing. More than a trend spotter, Anna is a trend setter. Are you ready? Yeah. Wow. I'm ready. My, you look like a princess. Yeah, a small <gasps> princess. Tell me an Anna Della Russo rule of fashion. I always, my first, first rule is fashion is a muse, you must do seduce her, which is means. Fashion is a fairy tale. You have to tell yours. Dance before you get dressed. Dance. Really? Put the music. Yeah. What kind of dance are we like talking a, about here? For example, when you get dressed up, you put the music, you light the candle, dance, dance naked, dance a little, and then <laughs> your you spirit will uh, give you the right outfit. And I can every under, morning. In, no, when you when it's a good time, and then you get dressed up, the best outfit. We're here in Paris at the moment. We're here for Paris Fashion yeah. Week. Yeah, I mean, this is a celebration of fashion. In Paris Fashion Week, it's like for me, Olympus game. Like when I'm in fashion, when I arrive in Paris, it's like my Olympic game. Then I had to do the best performer. That's why I'm thinking about clothes six months before. Because it's so big spot. It's like for a singer being a concert. You cannot come at the concert and say, oh, I forget the song, you know. And then when I'm here, I really perform. So what, what outfit have you regretted wearing? Uh, for example, sometimes it's about put a lot of stuff. <laughs> sometimes I really exaggerate. Too much? <laughs> Too much. Sometimes I say, mm, maybe, I, uh, maybe this is... This was the really right, like, jewelry and hat and... Blah, blah, blah. Sometimes I look like a Christmas tree. But it's OK, it's OK, but OK.
Now, I've heard, I've heard about your shoe collection. Yes. How many are we talking about here? Allora, that was 4,000. Or you can be naked, but with the right shoes. I mean, this is my <laughs> philosophy. For example, if you go naked, but you're going to put this pair of shoes, ah. uh, less. The Minister. iconic red sole. This can mean only one man. Christian Louboutin will be meeting him after the break. <laughs>